Hampstead Garden Suburb, an oasis of semi-rural peace sandwiched between Hampstead, Golders Green and Finchley. Its founder, Henrietta Barnett, hoped the suburb would be occupied by all classes living in harmony with one another. But rocketing house prices have undermined that vision. Despite social changes, the long tradition of creativity and artistic endeavour has remained. For many years, the Hampstead Garden Suburb Institute was housed in the same buildings as Henrietta Barnett's school. Its relocation first to East Finchley and then to Kingsbury and its closure in the summer of 2016 left an aching void in the suburb's cultural makeup, although the annual concerts of Promises and Jews have prospered. Now a group of amateur artists living in the suburb with strong connections with the place have come together to form HGS Art. They presented their first members show at the beginning of September. and unable to work as a psychotherapist and I turned towards textile art. The, the one on the left here, this is um, representing the burning of the books in Berlin and um, again this is a Holocaust based piece showing the chaos, I hope, of what was happening to people, that their, their life was just falling apart. Words actually there are from the Kaddish prayer, the memorial prayer for the dead. This is a very com complicated, simple piece. Uh, co it's called Autumn, and it's made of many, many different pieces of fabric cut up, uh, each one by hand. I do things like this, which seem to be very painstaking, time take a lot of time. So my name is Elaine Cole White and um, this one is a collage with um, oil and glaze on it. So basically um, paper and bubble wrap and lots of different things are um, stuck on it. Then it's inked to see what the picture is going to be and then it's glaze and oil is slowly layered on which is that one and the other one is acrylic um, and I was in Italy and I was walking up this pathway and it just looked so fabulous I thought I would paint it about a year after. These are from the proms at St. Jude's this summer um, the Talis Choir. And I, I recognized they, they were singing. They were singing Alleluia, which is a, I think it's Psalm 150. But they were singing it in Latin, and I know it in Hebrew. My name is Alfred Lester. These are mostly, mostly charcoal drawings, some with added liquid or whatever liquid was to hand. 
and that creates a sort of droopy expression and tends to widen it. Another little sketch I did was putting colour onto a nude drawing which I had. <laughs> My name's Diana Brams. I'm a retired barrister, though I still edit the Medico Legal Journal. And somehow or another, I've been elected chair of this new, really exciting organisation which promotes arts in the suburb. I prefer to paint portraits, but I can do interiors and exteriors if required, mainly in acrylics. A couple of years ago, I saw a photograph in a newspaper of um, a fire in Germany at a nightclub, and it showed uh, some people rescuing a woman. And that was the poem. In the original picture, she's holding onto a, 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 a purse for dear life. I thought I'd put a safe photograph mm -hmm. in instead of her purse. And then the message behind the message is that as of adversity in the history of the Jewish people, it's the women who yes. save the race. That's the, that's the story behind it. It's from that round up. I'm Monica Winner, and I work mainly in oils and charcoal. And um, I have been painting for many years. HGS Art aims to hold public exhibitions, workshops and to encourage children's art in the Hampstead Garden suburb. In other words, to restore artistic endeavour to the heart of the suburb.